Guten Abend, meine Damen und Herren. Um, I'm Ellen Harrington. I'm the, since January, the new director of the Deutsches Film Museum and Film Institute. Um, I'm happy to have you here and welcoming you um, in English because we have a very international program for you tonight um, with um, the wonderful, extraordinary actress, director, writer, uh, and incredible talent, Liv Ullman, here in person. Um, and she will be joining us upstairs for a conversation on stage immediately following the screening. And I think some of you have tickets for that. So don't worry, your ticket here will take you up there. If you have a ticket for the talk, there will be seats for you. Um, and before we start the screening of Autumn Sonata, I'd like to ask you to welcome to the stage for a brief introduction of the film, Liv Ullman. Hello. And, uh, and thank you for coming here. Thank you. Well, I have a few secrets to say about this film, but I feel I cannot say it now before you see the film because that may color your um, view of the film in a nice way, but still. So I hope you will all come to the discussion afterwards. But I can say... One thing, first of all, I want to thank the German uh, Film Institute and the Film Museum. It's fantastic to be here. And the truth is I have been here in 1989 and I did a movie here with Maximilian Schell and Peter Fonda. And uh, we are going to go for a tour later and, and, and see what I can remember. It's not so much at my age, but I do remember certain things. I do remember when we heard we were going to do Autumn Sonata and Ingrid Bergman was going to play the lead. And I always admired her as an actress. And Ingmar felt very proud and felt now she's going to be one of the team of our team and he would be the famous one and then she would be probably the number one after that and so and then we had a press conference and the press conference was such that Ingmar had told that Ingrid and I and the cinematographer uh, Sven Nyquist we were to sit on the stage and then uh, the press would be sitting down there and he would also come at some time, he said. And then the press conference was there, and it was so full of press, and Ingmar had never seen so much press at his press conferences, and maybe thought, oh, God, I'm getting more and more popular. <laughs> and, and then uh, he came in, and he had arranged us sitting there on the stage. And he came in, and he saw the press sitting down there, and he said, oh, we cannot sit like this. And he walked down to the press and was the really popular person. And then we came after and we were sitting down there with the press. And then they started to ask questions. And first they asked in Swedish and, and in English. And then they started in Italian and then in French. And Ingmar didn't know too much French and he didn't know Italian at all. And suddenly he said, well, Press conference is over, and those who want to do it in Swedish and English come to my office. <laughs> and we had a star in that movie, and that was uh, Ingrid Bergman, and she deserved it. She was sick, and not so long after she, she died, Ingmar got the, uh, a performance from her, which was incredible, and she was nominated for an Oscar. Uh, for for this movie and although they had fights and I will tell about that later uh, the two of them were a really really good team I want you to know that both Ingrid and I said why are you showing a woman which was Ingrid Bergman my mother I was 40 years old why are you showing a woman who was a wonderful pianist and traveling the world, why are you showing her as such a bad person? Because she's following a career. Well, that's the way it's written. And we said, can we change some of the words maybe? No, the words are like this. And then we said, well, can we act a little against uh, what the words are? Well, you're actresses and you can do that. 
So I had pigtails, although I was 40 years old and still wanted to be the child. And, uh, and Ingrid, she made her own choices, which you will see. Although she had very difficult lines to, to say and lines that she didn't agree on personally because she felt a woman has the right in this world to follow her career and her urge and still be a lovely mother and care for the children. Uh, I would have liked to see it with you because it's a long time since I've seen the whole movie, but I have to say, uh, if you were coughing, I would be so nervous. If one of you had to go out, I would think, oh, it's so terrible. Yeah. <laughs> and I think I would even feel if a, if a cat was sitting here, I would wonder, is there something good for a cat here? And so I'm leaving, and I'm looking very much forward to see you afterwards and tell you about the soul of the people that made this, I think, it's extraordinary movie about a mother and a daughter, and who is lying, and who is telling the truth, or was Ingmar telling the truth? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Liv. Thank you all. And we will see you upstairs after the film. Thanks so much.